So Books A Million has always been a good spot for finding cool books, but what I found on this recent trip even surprised the hell out of me. What is happening everybody? We are back with a haul from BAM, aka Books A Million. A almost, I don't wanna say a surprising little spot cause I've always found cool stuff there. But it was like, you know what? It's been a while since I've been there. I don't remember the last time I was there. But I'm always good at finding stuff. I like to check out their the uh, shelves and dig through all the short boxes, which are plentiful. Indie books, Marvel, DC stuff, and always come away with cool stuff. And capture a little bit of shopping footage, which you can check out now. That was just a little bit, a uh, little brief look into BAM and just specifically with the comic and the graphic novel sections, you saw the kind of discount racks that they kind of had. Uh, previously they've had them outside, like in the mall part of the, like just outside the front part of the store inside the mall. But then like last few times they've had them inside. I don't know why they ever had them outside the store. Never made sense to me, but anyways, uh, I was going through with the graphic novel section first, which the Marvel section has sh shrunk significantly. I don't understand how. I know a lot of it has been on the discount rack, but I don't know if that accounts for all of it, but I don't know, who cares? What I found on there though was insane. I'm saving that for last. It's the reason why I actually have two bags. The cashier's like, eh, you know what? I'm gonna put this in another bag because it's not gonna hold. And even like just setting this up now, I double back, I put, I use both bags. Hopefully you can't see what that other book is because it was gonna, it probably would have tore right through it if it holds enough. But we have a nice little mix. I had some single issues and a couple, well, one little cool little find. We'll start, actually we'll start with the single issues for once because I usually never do that. But that's how cool the other books are. And first up, this is not even in any order now. Most of it's actually from one property, but we're gonna start over at, I think this is Boom Studios. Is it? Yeah, Boom Studios, this is namesake number three of four. Never heard of this before, but I, when I pulled, I was digging through the boxes and I saw this book, I was like, oh, what is that? So I had to look it up real quick and I was just gonna grab it for the hell of it. And I was like, oh, the premise actually sounded cool. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna actually go and try to pick up the other three issues. Well, not try because they're cheap, but yeah, this one was 95 cents and with the discount even cheaper. But again, it was really just, I was like, oh, cover looks cool. I'll buy it and read it and see what the hell it is. But considering the rest of it sounded pretty cool, I'll actually wait and pick up the other three issues and check out. So yeah, namesake, if you want to look into that and you know, see what the premise is about, go for it. <clears throat> go for it. And then actually we'll jump to 
this book because this is the other standalone book. Yeah, X Force number I think it's forty two. Yes, X Force number forty two. There, Emma Frost and Warpath on the cover. The tops and the skulls and bones. Working on some X Force stuff. X Force and X Factor. And then the rest are all Wildcats. Yes, Wildcats covert action teams, but not just the original Wildcats. We got Wildcats from three separate runs. So the original Wildcats run from Image and then Wildcats from Wildstorm and then Wildcats version 3.0 from Wildstorm. So I got Wildcats all over the place here. So here's from the original run, there's issue 32. Yeah, it's been a while, I'm trying to think. I think the last time I was at BAM, I picked up some Wildcats books. Cause they had quite a few there and I was able to pick them up for under a buck. So I'll take that. And I've talked about Wildcats before. This is, what is this, 26. Basically, I just held a soft spot in my heart. Like those early image titles, and, well, not all of them, but Spawn and Wildcats have always held a soft spot in my heart. So I'm still picking up Spawn now. And I do still need a chunk of that series for my collection. And eventually I will get it. But Wildcats, uh, several they've had several series and then similar to Spawn with the action figures and then the HBO animated series. I like the Wildcats cart or action figures as well as that short animated series as well. So yeah, you know, it's just down for some Wildcats. You've been if you've been following me for a while, you already know that. And then here is Wildcats 3.0. This is number where we at? number 23, I think. Yeah, this is where I was like looking all over because it's been a while since I've held one of the 3.0 books in my hand. So I'm like looking all over like, where the hell is the issue number? I didn't even check under the, uh, there's a stupid little sticker here. Yeah, it's right there too. I could have did that. But I'm like, where's the hell the issue number? Like I see the credits. I'm like, then a the little fine print. I was like, oh, there it is up in the upper corner in tiny little font there so wildcats 3.0 now this one is wildcats number one i do already have this one but i just like this cover and since it was cheap i figured i'd get another copy of it i just like that cover with i don't know why they made grifter like the front and center and like the larger but warblade spartan zealot i don't know if that's supposed to be maul maybe that's voodoo there but it's just a cool cover so figure why not i get a second copy i think it's just two of them and then we have number 17 with Pike there in the red and green. Over him, Damonite. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a Damonite. So yeah, early there, Spartan, Warblade, Grifter, and Zealot there. I remember being a kid and I didn't uh, <laughs> just liking Wildcat, but I couldn't remember Zealot's name. So I used to call her, I think either me or my cousin used to call her Zealotech. I don't know where the hell that came from, but. I eventually saw, I was like, oh wait, it's just Zealot. I don't know where we added the extra syllables, extra letters. I don't know, we're kids, that's just how it goes. And last single issue we have, Wildcast number 42. This was actually the last issue I picked up. I kind of marked it in a box. It was, it was like second from the end, from one of the ends and like halfway through a box. And I kind of pulled it up and just kind of let it rest so I could easily find it. Cause I was kind of, kind of debating cause it's got a couple of ticks in there. And I was like, ah, I don't want that. Like it's cheap, it's a dollar. And I was gonna pay under a dollar, basically 80 cents with my BAM discount. So I was like, eh, it is cheap. Like I want it, should I get it? I don't know. And then just kind of the bad thing, you know what, what the hell? Could I probably find a better copy cheap somewhere else? Who knows? But I have this one right now. And so we'll see. If I find another, like, another copy for around a dollar, that's just a better grade, then probably I'll just replace it just for the hell of it. Like, why not? Now we get onto some of the other goodies because usually I always end with the single issues, but like the other books that I got are just cool ass finds. And this one is definitely a nice little twist for my, uh, I don't know, I won't really call it a collection, but I guess we have a uh, Flash adult coloring book. And just basically call it a coloring book. Adult kid, I wouldn't care. Coloring, but I like to color and not just at work, but I will color on my own as well. So this is just cool as hell. And then you look inside the indicia here, hit list. You know how most books are like, oh, featuring whatever, flex, so-and-so. This has this a massive list in there of all the books that, all the issues that all these flash images, like pages come from. Try to 
I don't know the best way to even show this, but it just has like, just from all different areas and artists, like, where it is, oh, uh, this one, is that, that's not Brave and Bold, is it? I forgot the first issue, or the, the first appearance, I think it is Brave and Bold, but there's that there, and then, so it's got a bunch of Flash solo stuff, got that one, that was cool, and what else? Uh, I saw some Andy Kubert in there. There was one where there, like that first Justice League issue with Starro, but I don't remember where. I was just flipping through this, like, you got this. I got some cool ass stuff, and I was thinking, you know what? Where was it at? It says, make the Flash into the Scarlet Speedster, or pick your own favorite hues. And it reminded me of when I was a kid, I had a Spider-Man coloring book, and I every, I, every page, I colored Spider-Man in different colors. Like, <laughs> it was insane. All the different color combinations, every single page, Spidey was a different color. And I remember like orange and purple being one of them. And so I'm not gonna do the same thing here, but I'm definitely gonna use like twist it up, especially using like royal blue and white. So those are my favorite colors, like one of my favorite color combination color schemes. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of there. Probably gonna make copies of every page just to keep, I don't know, just kind of test it out. And maybe I'll use some, give some pages to some of the students. Uh, they don't act like assholes, but yeah. So this was just cool. So I definitely want to look into more. I've seen some other coloring books at conventions. So uh, I want like an Avengers or an X-Men book. I don't know. If I come across some more, I'll definitely pick them up because they'll just be fun to do, so. All right, next up, moving along. We got some Marvel action. Here is Invincible Iron Man, Iron Hearts, Riri, 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 Riri Williams, this collects issues, what is it, one through five, I think? Yeah, so one through five of this run here, hardcover, it's got like a, I don't wanna say weird texture, but it like an interesting texture to it. Like it doesn't feel like the standard card cover, at least not in all the places. It almost feels like, I don't wanna say powdery, but I don't really know what the hell do you even call this texture. They did have a couple trades, but I figured, you know what, I'll go with the hardcover. So it was cool, I'm looking forward to reading this. I kind of skimmed through it just to see what the hell it was even about because I missed the entire Invincible Iron Man run. So uh, let me make sure there's at least some action in there because I don't want to just pick it up if it's just going to be just kind of uh, characters just kind of hanging around. But also part of the big draw besides it being Riri, we got Stefano Caselli on the art here. He was an absolute champ. Oh, well, also with Marte Gracia, incredible creators there. So if you've never seen uh, and any of the art, there's a little bit of a look there. Quick peek. And our other bad thing about, or the only bad thing, was their stupid price tag. So I did get the front one off, managed to get that one off without any damage. But this rear one is rough, and it, I was struggling to get, I got a good chunk of that off, but I don't know really how to get it off safely. So I don't know, we'll keep digging away at that. And now, as they say, the peace dealer is this song piece de resistance this massive i don't even know if you can tell it's starting to rain and thundering a little bit but i was looking through there again the discount rack which had uh, the bargain rack whatever you want to call it and i saw this book and i had to do a double take i couldn't believe it had to check the price immediately just to make sure it wasn't just moved but it is a marvel omnibus and i didn't even know bam sold on the like do they did I know that Maybe I did. I don't remember the last omnibus I saw at BAM, but they did have a couple others on the bargain rack. But this one is one I had wanted when I saw this one get released, or before it got released. And I was thinking, you know what, do I want to get it? I don't know. So I kind of left it there for a little bit and I looked it up on mycomicshop.com to see what, like how much it was going for, as well as what issues are included. So I was like, oh man, let me, like, is this a good deal for it? And absolutely was, but insane. They had in the bargain rack for 60 bucks, a Marvel Omnibus for 60 bucks. It is our main man, Moon Knight, with the, is this the David Finch? Yeah, the David Finch cover. Now, I do like the original cover as well, but I like this one as well. Like, both of, all the original cover, all the covers that this one came in, but for this price, I wasn't gonna wait for the other one. It was 60 bucks. But I got it for, what, 40, was it 48? Yeah, with a discount. 
So I just like, you know, this is stupid. I can't pass this up. I have to take this. And this is just insane. This is such a cool find. And you kind of see some of the issues there. Probably get all that in a shot. But dude, it has 30, like 31, 32 issues contained or included. And then material from a chunk of other issues as well. This is just insane for the Moon Knight fan. Like, couldn't pass this up. Who is Moon Knight? Is he werewolf hunter or vigilante? Mercenary or millionaire? Car, cab driver or cape defender? Is he all of these or is he something more? Co-creator Doug Monsh unleashes the silver clad, I mean the silver, I guess in some appearances, the silver clad icon, then teams of visionary artist Bill Sienkiewicz delving deep into the fractured mind of a hero like no other. What? Moon Knight Omnibus at BAM aka Books a Million? BAM is right because this is going to look fantastic on my bookshelf and I'm looking forward to diving into this. So Werewolf by Night got several of the Moon Knight series, got some Hawk appearances in here, uh, Defenders, let's see what else, Spectacular Spider-Man, The Thing in Moon Knight, what is that, Marvel 2-in-1? I think that says 2-in-1. What else was on here? Moon Knight, Moon Knight. Amazing Spider-Man 220. Another, I don't know what that is. Something else, I don't know. But yes, dude, this is insane. What? Bam, clutch, thanks. Absolutely, I'll take this. Doug Munch, Ghost and Kevin. Who's Perlin? I'm about to say Ron Perlin, but that's not it at all. I don't know who Perlin is. But yeah, this is cool as hell. So, yeah. Uh, shout out to Bam for coming in clutch. Again, as I always say, I'm always, like, every time I go to Bam, I can always find something cool. There's always some new single issues that pop up in their short boxes. Collect editions are full of stuff. I really went there. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just go see what they have. But also kind of intending to pick up a couple like cheaper smaller trades of some other books that I hadn't that I either wasn't really looking for like previously or just kind of like oh you know what that might be an interesting read of character or team that I don't typically read or haven't read in a while so I guess that kind of counts for this but then there were a couple others on there I was looking or that I was kind of peeping so oh you know maybe I should get that one but so yeah so I can go back anytime but yes so yeah Books a million coming in clutch, cool single issues working on my Wildcats runs because I just adore Wildcats so much. That's just cool. And looking for if you read uh, this Invincible Iron Man with Ironheart, uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Re 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 Williams as a character. If you like coloring books, share those in the comments below. If you have some, maybe you could like to do them with your kids if you have kids, or if you just like to do them for yourself like I do. I just like to color. Color pencils are kings. Crayons suck. Crayons are an absolute scam. It's ridiculous. I realized that working in schools, like crayons are terrible. Just, like color pencils are the champs. And then if you're an omnibus collector, what are, uh, did you pick up Moon Knight? What are some other ones you've had on your want list? What are some ones you picked up recently? What do you like about them if you don't have them? What one would you be interested in picking up? So yeah, share all that in the comments below. Happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Genos Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.